Hello, this is Dave Cracker. <laughs> no, this is uh, Dave Cracker. I'm going to show you how to make a widescreen video in, uh, using Sony Vegas. And I'm going to also show you how to do a split screen. Alright, first, I open Sony Vegas. Whoops. And gonna find your video that you want to use. <coughs> use video twenty. Alright, then we're gonna get the other second video. doing that because you get that same sound in this video and it'll just sound really odd anyway you want it widescreen so you click that you're gonna do that when in TSCD you widescreen that's what I do okay Gonna do the same right here. Properties. NTC, whatever. DV widescreen. I don't think this matters. Just click OK, and it makes it wider. Do I do that to this one too? Mm -hmm. Properties. Media. Uh, yeah. Alright. Now, you want to make this smaller so you can see this one also. What you do is you click track motion and you sh shrink it however you want. And by doing that, you can move it anywhere. Or you can go pah, ah, ah. Yeah. Whatever. Anyway, you've got that. And I'm gonna sync up the sound real quick. I'm gonna take about that much off. It's close enough. Anyway, what you're done is going to file, render as, and render as, and then pops up. There we go. Put your name. Who? Blah. Yeah. Then you're going to click. Oh, uh, yeah. Make sure it's. Yeah. And oh, forgot. You gotta make sure it has this. I guess. Yeah. Then it's gonna render. But I'm not gonna render it all the way. So I'll cancel. Rendering can take a while, depending on how long the video is. Good. Yeah. It's, yeah. Anyway. There we go. Alright.